Here it is, guys, the PlayStation 5. Well, what's going on, guys? It's Drew with Profit Monsters. Welcome to another video. I am on my way to a Facebook Marketplace deal right now for a GameCube, a PlayStation 2, and some Guitar Hero guitars. Everything looks to be in really good condition. I'm excited to pick it up. I'm in the middle of nowhere. This is way farther out than I normally drive, but I figured I would stop and do some sourcing on the way, have some fun. I know that I saw two Goodwills, a couple garage sales, and a antique store like a resale flea market indoor thing so anyway we're gonna stop at all of it and check it out hopefully we can find some good stuff let's have some fun all right right next to the meetup place it wasn't even planned but there's a goodwill right here which is sweet but i'm gonna show you guys what i got first it's gonna be kind of hard to see because i got some other stuff i'm working on this gamecube or this xbox that i'm fixing I got two wireless Kramer Guitar Hero guitars. I got this GameCube right here. Super Mario Sunshine in the original box. The box is a little damaged, but the console and the controller and everything are super clean. Everything's in excellent condition there, which is awesome. And then I got a PlayStation 2 Slim Silver with like four controllers and a bunch of extra stuff. The power cable, which is nice. And then I got some games, a couple Guitar Heroes for the PlayStation, and Silent Hill for Xbox, which is nice. Some Game Boy games in here, nothing crazy, and then some other random PlayStation 2 games. So I paid $170 for everything, which I think I can get more than that just for the GameCube with the original box. Um, although I didn't get any games with it, I do have an extra controller, which I can pair with it, which will be nice. And uh, the PlayStation 2 Slim, I should be able to get around 125 to 140 depending on how many games I put with it. And then there's some extras and stuff in there. I'll easily double my money. The Guitar Hero guitars are probably worth about 60 to 70 bucks, maybe more, as well as there was three dongles and there's only two guitars. So to have a third dongle for a wireless Guitar Hero guitar is nice because I actually have some at my storage unit that need dongles. So that's sweet. Let's go into Goodwill, see what we can find. Walking in the first thrift store, these caught my eye right off the bat. They are like some Reebok custom shoe. Not custom, but uh, it's a limited edition shoe or something like that. They were $6.99, but the value wasn't really there. And then the rest of the stuff was either like broken stuff or trash. So I pretty much left it all. I got music in the background, of course, at Goodwill. These Cole Hans uh, were a odd colorway, I would say. And for the price of $14.99, I just decided to leave them. Uh, it was just a little bit too much. But I did find this really cool uh, vintage space tee. It says uh, dynamic solar system on it with the date 1990 on it. It was single stitch, a really cool shirt. And then I found on this Zion Rootwear tag, this uh, country music Johnny Cash shirt. Uh, it's pretty faded and uh, but not single stitch but still cool. really cool. Okay, just got back in the car. That spot wasn't like great, but it wasn't horrible. I enjoyed going through a new retail store, but it didn't really hit that great. I did get um, a couple t-shirts and one pair of women's shoes that I can probably resell for like 40 or 50 bucks and I paid $10 for those. But let's head on to the next spot and we'll see where we go. Yo, this garage sale that I'm going to better be worth it. I followed like 18 garage sale signs and I'm out in the middle of nowhere. There were two garage sales right next to each other and they were such a bust. I literally didn't get anything from either of them. All right, I'm putting on my mask. I just pulled up to this place called Treasure Marts. I've never been here, but I saw an ad on Facebook for a guy selling vintage t-shirts all the way in the back booth. So. We're gonna see if we can find anything. As I walked in, guys, the very first booth had this Nintendo original system with a game on the inside. And uh, it's so old, I forgot how to pull it out, but I ended up getting it and it was the ultimate stunt man. They wanted $45 and there was like a PlayStation controller in the bag or something like that as well. But I decided to just keep looking around and see what I could find. There was music blaring. There's a Harley Davidson shirt right there. As you can see, it's just like a bunch of random booths, kind of like an antique mall, I guess you could say. Nobody is actually at their booths. Right, this this cool. was the vintage clothing ad that I saw on Facebook Marketplace, which was an ultimate letdown. All of these were it's new age reprinted vintage. shirts, and they weren't even like Quite folded tiny. nicely or anything. So I was pretty disappointed and let down. Like uh, there was one right there that may have been somewhat vintage, but it was basically a trash shirt, and I ended up not scooping it. 
but as you can see, there just really wasn't anything good. There was a North Face shirt right there, a Super Mario shirt, and just some basic stuff. So it was pretty much of a bust for the clothing. This pikachu -y shirt, gotta chew them all or something. I don't know. Anyway, you guys can see like it was just reprint after reprint, which was really disappointing. I found this Garth Brooks vintage t-shirt at another booth though, which was pretty exciting. This was a 1993 dated, but it was super hard to read. So you probably won't be able to see that on an old Hanes beefy tag. They wanted 12 bucks, it's single stitch. Um, however, there was a rip on the underarm, uh, which I don't show here, but it was front and back. So I ended up leaving it. Uh, right next to it was this booth though that had some uh, pretty cool stuff for 50 cents, this Pinocchio vinyl record and this copy of Wii Sports. It actually wasn't the resort, it was just Wii Sports, but for 50 cents, that's an easy pickup all day. You can't even find them at garage sales that cheap sometimes. And the rest of this stuff was mostly junk for 50 cents. This person was just clearing out their booth. Now, this was one of the really cool things that I saw for the day, this Wild Thornberries movie poster. Um, I've never seen anything like it before, and the sellers were asking $55, which actually wasn't terrible, but I probably could have called them and asked if they would take less. I'm still considering it. I didn't pick it up right away, though, uh, because there was just so much stuff to look at and uh, kind of peep through. There was Funko Pops, there was clothing, there were shoes. I mean, you name it, it was in here. And I'm not an expert in any one specific category. So I took my time and kind of went through everything as best as possible. Now, this was a really cool find. I don't normally know much about this stuff, but this was a vintage Tonka Winnebago Indian vehicle, and it was in really good shape. It was like aluminum or metal. I don't know what exact material, but it wasn't plastic. And the comps were really good on eBay, about $75 to $150. They were asking $75, though, so I decided to pass. They had a lot of sports cards that I was going through. I just don't know enough about them, so I left them as well. But I plan to come back here and do a little more time spending going through stuff. As you can see, again, each booth just was loaded with cool things to pick through and sort through. I felt like I was just going through a bunch of Cincinnati Pickers antique booth, you know, vending stations. I just walked into this little spot in the back here. And it looks like just someone that buys storage units or something and just has everything left over. I'm starting to pick through it. I found a pair of Harley Davidson jeans. If you can see that right there for three bucks. And then these Air Max, I believe these are 95s. They're a little dirty, but they're not a youth size. They're size six. So pretty decent size. I should be able to clean those up. Those are five bucks. So a lot of this stuff is just kind of thrown everywhere. Um, and down here, there's a couple pair of Jordans. These are just like basic Horizon Lows. Nothing crazy, but $30. They just think that because they say Jordan on them that they're worth a lot of money. These are like disgustingly dirty. $25 for these Jordans with no insoles. So sometimes it'd be like that. Some of them are worth money, some of them are not. These are in pretty bad shape, yellowed and broken missing pieces. I would have to look them up. This is broken. Seems like the clothing was the only good buy. I did find another pair of jeans. These are Ariat or Ariat denim jeans. I've sold the boots before, never found the jeans. So that's a nice little pickup for three bucks. This would have been a killer booth to clean up at. DVD VHS combo units are one of my favorite things to find. And there were some really good brands. That one was a Magnavox. There's a Sony Boombox and then another combo unit up there. But man, this guy knew his stuff. He was asking 45 bucks for pretty much all these units. 39 for the Daewoo, 37 for a DVD player. Pots and pans and roasters and stuff is a new category to me. There's a little cowboy, pretty cool. Uh, but as I was looking through this section in the back, I ended up coming across that like little Dutch oven roaster that you see right there in the front with a glass lid. And um, I forget the brand. I'll pop up a screenshot right here, but it was only eight bucks and some of them were selling pretty high. This is kind of cool. Little Disney store, women's vest. Nothing on the back though. But still, Piglet and Eeyore, still kind of cool. 
Let me know if you would pick this up in the comments. For 10 bucks. All right, I just came across this surround sound stereo amplifier and they want 15 bucks for it. When I looked it up, I'm kind of shocked. I'm gonna throw up the screenshots on the screen. The listeds and the solds are way different. I think for 15 bucks, I'm gonna take a chance on this, but it's just hard to tell the value. So I just left that Thrift Mart, Treasure Mart place and I'm in the parking lot. Um, so I don't wanna vlog and drive, but Overall, pretty good experience. I ended up spending $53 in that shop, I guess you could call it, Plaza, Indoor Flea Market, whatever. And I got some pretty good stuff. The Air Maxes actually have some really good resale value if I clean them up, as well as that, um, that Dutch oven type of cooker thing and a couple other pieces. So Wii Sports for 50 cents, that's an easy 20 bucks. And so, yeah, some really good stuff. I ended up leaving the Garth Brooks shirt though because it was like re-sewn under the armpit. It had a big hole in it and someone re-sewed it. And the comps were like 25 to 30 bucks and they wanted 12. So it was still a cool shirt, but I left it behind. Found this Monty Python in the search for the Holy Grail killer rabbit hoodie. These are pretty funny. I love Monty Python, so this is pretty cool find. And then I found this M&M shirt. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. It's not single stitch or anything, but it is on the M&M's tag. And uh, it says manufactured in Orlando, Florida, which is pretty cool. So that's where I live. I have no idea what this is, but it's $34.99. All right, let's see what we got. got a Montgomery Ward sewing machine. Looks pretty clean. I'm not sure what the value of this one is. There's another brother sewing machine with the box right there, maybe a beginner one. There's another one right there. Maybe a lot of sewers in this area. So we got a lot of sewing machines here. We got a Singer Merit, we got another Singer, and then we got this white one right here. Pretty crazy. And then there's a Smith Corona typewriter. Okay, so we got some cool stuff. We got a Showtime rotisserie. We got a big Sony boom box and a food dehydrator. So I'm gonna grab all three of these, put them in the cart and then look them up. Uh, but they could be very, very good potentially. We got a Yamaha receiver and then whatever this is, looks really cool too. So I'm gonna grab this and look it up. All right, there was music playing and this kid screaming. So I couldn't really record, but I left with a couple things. I got some Brooks running shoes as well, two pairs of Brooks. I got a pair of Nike Shocks, really nice color, pink and silver. I got a Ronco 4000. I love selling these if you guys have never picked them up um, and you don't mind doing a little work to clean them. This one's in pretty good shape, to be honest. Just a little barkeeper's best friend back there. And this will clean up nice. I paid $19.99 for this. It should sell for around 100, maybe more plus shipping. I picked up that Smith Corona typewriter. This was $19.99 and the comps are about uh, 150 to 200 and then I got this Sony boom box which I'll show you guys um, in a minute too that I uh, paid $14.99 for it and they're selling for about 150 all right guys we got a little turn of events I just left Goodwill and I actually pre-ordered a PlayStation 5 and somebody just messaged me that they want to buy it I've actually had about 20 people message me that they want to buy it I'm not gonna vlog and drive but I'm going to go grab the PlayStation because it just got delivered to my house today. We paid 500 bucks for it on pre-order and somebody is meeting me at the local police station to pay 975 for it. And I've had a bunch of people message me offering me full price. I wish I would have pre-ordered more, but hey, one sale is better than none. So I'll show you guys that right before I sell it. Here it is guys, the PlayStation 5 delivered to my house. I gotta go meet the guy at the police station right now but I just wanted to show you guys, it is still sealed, brand new, and uh, paid 500 for it, and I'm flipping it for 975. So not too bad, baby. Okay, I'm at a red light, but I'm about to go. But just so you guys know, this PlayStation 5, I listed it on Facebook Marketplace. You now flipping this kind of stuff can be good. It's just supply and demand. So, you know, a lot of people can get upset too, thinking like you're price gouging and stuff like that. But I mean, if there's a demand, people are willing to pay for it. 
which means that if you have the supply, that's how you make money. We ended up pre-ordering one and that's all we got. Uh, we weren't fast enough to get any more. I'm happy with one. It worked out, we made some money and uh, I'll show you guys the money after I sell this beast. I'm meeting the guy at the Apopka police station where I live just for safe sales transaction because it's a lot of money. All right, I just met up with the buyer and we exchanged goods. He opened it up to make sure it was in there, of course, which I don't blame him. And I got the money. $975, not too bad of a quick flip for something that I just got delivered today and I already sold it. So yeah, there we go, baby. Thank you for your business. One more stop for me today, guys, is going to be this Goodwill right here. And uh, this is the one right by my house. It's my go-to store. Haven't really found much here lately because I've been killing it at thrift stores and garage sales. See my last video, but uh, let's see what we can find. The music was blaring as always, guys. So here we are. I found these Jordans, the red, white, and blue. I forget what they're called. They were missing the laces and they had some scuffs. Goodwill wanted $24.99. There was like 58 listed and only 23 sold. So I ended up putting them back. Uh, I did look at these Zoom Pegasus 34s. They were super clean. Uh, they just needed some magic eraser. $9.99, that's an easy pickup for me. Those sell for 40 to 50 bucks all day. Polo uh, Ralph Lauren, this is a 4XLT, big size shirt, easy sale. This was a Chase Authentics uh, Dale Jr. Budweiser pullover. Um, I really liked this. It was $5.99, so I figured I'd pick that up. This is a new brand to me. It's called um, Barber, or B-O-U-R, and apparently these coats and jackets are worth some money. This was a quilted outside, flannel lined inside, and it was $6.99, and they're selling for between $60 to $80. Bucks. Also got some Kohan Zero Grands. Kohan is a great brand to pick up if you don't know them. Uh, just awesome, awesome shoes to resell. And then these are some Nike Zoom Vomero 11s. Great colorway, great condition. $9.99 is my standard shoe price at Goodwill. So they brought out a new cart and I saw this Dutch oven roaster looking thing. And um, I wanted to check to see if it was a brand I was familiar with. I didn't see anything at the bottom and it was pretty lightweight. So I ended up leaving it, but I did find something underneath it that caught my eye and it was a Nintendo GameCube controller, baby. I love finding these easy money, let's go. And then as I'm scrolling the aisle, I found this Guitar Hero, rip, this Guitar Hero box with no guitar in it. Why would it be down there torturing me like that? As I look through the rest of the toys over here, I really don't see much. This little starting lineup uh, goalie piece, but those don't really have much value. Uh, unless it's like a special character player like Wayne Gretzky. All right, guys, I just got home. I sold the PlayStation. I thrifted some stuff. I hit a couple of week garage sales. I went to a flea market. I went to an antique store. I went on a Facebook marketplace pickup. I did everything today. Had a great day sourcing and I'm ready to get home or be home and list and get back to work. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave a like on this video if you enjoy this kind of content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.